Hi guys, Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I am so, so beyond excited to film this video. It has been three years since I filmed a video like this. So this is my packing for Disney World Woo! Uh, video. Yeah, so the last uh, packing video I did for Disney World was actually our road trip from Jersey to Florida. And since then, three years later, we have now moved to the West Coast to Las Vegas, and we also have another addition to the family. So now we have four kids, family of six, packing, all the stuff, and now we are flying. So all of our previous Disney vlogs and packing videos um, were for road trips. So now it's, I feel like it's more simplified because we are very limited to what we can take. Um, we are going to Disney World for four days, three nights, with four of our children that are 10, 8, turning 9, 7, and 2 years old. And also, special announcement is this is a collaboration video with my good friend here on YouTube, Mel from Mel BZ TV. And I'm sure many of you guys already know Mel. She has a ton of subscribers and she does a ton, a ton, a ton of Disney videos. She's going on a Disney cruise soon too. And she's gonna share her packing for her family of four for their Disney cruise. And she has a ton of Disney vlogs. They go to Disneyland, they go to Disney World, they go to Disney cruises. So be sure to check her out. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell notifications, and if you are a huge Disney fan, we have a ton of videos on our Disney World playlist. My kids have only been to Disney World, but we do plan on going to Disneyland when time and budget permit. So, with that said, let's get started. Overview of what I have. Mind you, I do, I do have a little bit of laundry there that I'm gonna do tomorrow, um, but I'm just adding like a few key pieces from there, like shorts and um, maybe like a sweater, you know, like a couple of sweaters you have to add um, in case it gets chilly. And then and my kids are in school right now, so I do need to add their, they're gonna be wearing their sneakers, um, but just gotta add like another slippers and things like that. And same for me and my husband's slippers. So. Obviously, those are the shoes we have out so far. I'm trying to do a pair of sneakers for each of us. Um, and then also, like, a sandal. Like, those that's good for the pool or good for walking around the hotel room. Because I feel icky walking barefoot in the hotel room. So, I always make sure they have whatever beach shoes, or not beach shoes, or pool shoes they wear is what they wear in the hotel room. Um, so, like, a sandal and a sneaker. Or... Like, my daughter likes Tom's, and I'm wearing a Tom's, too. So, and then, as far as the luggages, we have condensed this quite a bit. I actually could get away with checking in, um, like, a big bag and, like, a carry-on. And, like, bringing one carry-on. But my kids are older, and they do like to have their own bag and bring their own extra things, like their iPads and, like, toys and such. Not toys, but, like, little things, knickknacks to keep them busy or whatnot on the plane. But, um, my... My um, oldest is, has this bag, and my son, and then my middle daughter is gonna have this bag. And then I have a new purse here, which I'm loving. It's from Park here in Vegas. Um, it's a boutique here, and it's cool because it is a book bag, but it converts to a crossbody. And I like it because I can have easy access to get my vlogging camera when I'm in and out of rides and such, or I need my hands free. Um, and then we're checking in one big bag. So essentially this bag is going to hold my husband, myself, and my two-year-old there, her stuff, and then toiletries and things like that um, in this bag and whatever else I need to fit. Think about it. I probably don't need, I probably won't even use all this space now looking at what I have back there. Um, but let's see how it goes. I'm going to kind of go over what my organized mess is over here or my method. If you guys have been following, I have like certain packing methods or certain way that I um, pick outfits and such. Um, and also what I'm going to do, I initially was going to bring my own carry-on rolling bag, but I'm just going to opt to just bring my 
backpack um, because that's what we're going to use in the park. It'll be a backpack for all of us, eliminate the diaper bag altogether, put everything in there, extra clothes, snacks, or whatnot, to the parks every day. Um, and then I'll probably put my laptop in my daughter's um, carry-on since it's bigger. My laptop and external chargers and all that stuff. So I'm going to move this out of the way and let's get let's into start it. with this. It's kind of like non-clothing items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring um, Colby's Moana dress because apparently Moana comes out occasionally in Animal Kingdom and um, and then I don't know, we're going to have, um, the girls are going to do the Bippity Boppity Boo experience, but it's only for three and three to 12 and she's two. So in case she gets jealous that they're doing something, I might put this on her and throw some lip gloss on her or whatnot. So I'll just roll this up into my backpack and put that there. Funny thing about these ponchos is that we have these ponchos. We got, I think we got four of them in here, all rolled up and ratty tatty, but they still work. Um, we got these in 2015 when we went and it started raining like pouring downpour downpour and luckily we had a big umbrella at that time which I don't have now since we moved um, and we ended up buying ponchos but then by the time we bought the ponchos it was like light drizzling and then it stopped so I always kept it just in case we would make it back to the parks one day and my husband said to bring it and roll it up, put it in a bag, or I could put it in a bottom stroller, just in case. Um, also, about our, like, headbands and stuff, or Mickey ears. So, these I bought in 2015. I'm debating if I do want to bring this hat. I did wear this last time, too. Coincidentally, this fits my daughter now. My two-year-old, but it's not hers. This is a hat that I bought, like, years ago. Or, no, I didn't buy this. Somebody gave this to me when I was pregnant with my oldest. Yeah, that's where it's from. So this can actually be Colby's, but of course we're gonna buy her her own. And then my girls each have their own. They're kind of big for this now. I mean, it still fits them. They might opt to get one of these when we're there, but we're gonna bring it in case. And then last time we were there, or the second to last time we were there, Dylan got his own, because he's been there twice so far. Um, so we're bringing that and then I did my announcement video and we put this in a box you check it out down below if you want to see how we announced to the kids we're going to Disney um, so next I'm gonna this is the only umbrella I have I didn't bring my I left my umbrellas in Jersey in my parents house so um, we have an umbrella and then I think I'm gonna put this in one of the carry-ons but this is gonna house all our chargers yeah, lots of chargers for iPads, iPhones, cameras, etc. That's going to hold that. Since my kids are each carrying um, their own bag, I don't think I'm going to use this to hold any, like, electronics. But um, they can each hold it in their bag. And then this is my bag. It's just one from Victoria's Secret. Um, it's pretty big. It has two, two sections here, so I could put one with that stuff. And then, like, I think each day at the park, aside from, like, the diapers and wipes and things like that I need for my youngest, I'll put some snacks in here um, and also, like, extra clothes because you never know, um, especially if you go on certain kinds of rides. You never know when you need extra clothes or maybe if a kid has an accident. And I think somewhere in here I have, like, Band-Aids and first aid stuff like that. Um... Next we have is our bag here. It says Team Inigas. Um, it's my 31 gifts bag. I've had it forever. Um, this is holding all of our um, sunscreens in case we get bit. Some afterbite. Um, sunscreen for the baby. Sunscreen for us. Sunscreen for the face. Sunscreen for the body. And then different sunglasses. I don't know if the kids will want to use it, but I just put it there in case. Also, I have a big thing of wipes here that should last me um, and I'm gonna buy some more diapers and like a small pack of diapers I'm gonna bring too. This bag is our toiletry bag. I'm also gonna be adding in here our um, I always bring like medicine just in case. I used to bring like a whole bag of medicine but it takes up too much space. I'm gonna put in a Ziploc like um, allergy medicine, Tylenol for us, Tylenol for the kids just in case. Also, I always, always, always carry um, garbage bags because the garbage bags is going to 
be what holds our dirty clothes. So essentially, we're filling these up with dirty clothes, and I'm going to put them in the um, checked bag. Um, and then clean clothes will just be dispersed with the other bags going home. So got my bags. Um, also, I have a bag for jewelry and hair ties and things like that. Um, I have a bag in here that has, look, bags inside of bags. That's my thing. Um, who else does that? I have Q-tips for the kids, cotton balls, and Q-tips for me and hubby. Um, I have my curling wand and then some toiletries, which we still have to add our rest of our toiletries, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, um, things of that nature still in there. And then this bag is for my makeup. And then I have a separate bag for my makeup brushes. So all of that will go together and go inside the bag we're checking. So I have my little pile here of sweaters. So I have like a light sweater for Colby and then a hoodie. This used to be her older sister's. So it's just so funny that she's going to wear this now. Even though it's a little big, I saved it for her. Oh, I saved it for her in case. Um, and then I have a light jacket and one of my daughters, I got to add my son's, which I'm washing, my husband's and my other daughter's jacket because I know at night it can get a little bit chilly sometimes depending what time of year. But usually when we go this time of year, it is chilly at night. So this is my organized chaos of clothing. I could technically pile this up and separate it by each kid. But I did want to show you what I like to do. So I like to pre-prep each day's outfit plus a backup outfit in case we change. Because our plan is to do as much as we can throughout the early part of the day, then take like a later day, my kids don't nap except her, but she might nap in the stroller anyway. But we want to take a midday swim, or not midday, or out late afternoon swim, wash up, shower, um, and then change for dinner and whatever festivities at whatever park we have at night. So I have here their outfits. I've already organized their outfits by each kid. So this is their outfits that they're going to wear when we leave on the airplane, when we arrive to Disney. Um, a pair of jeans, because I feel like it's just better to wear pants on the plane. Sometimes it can get cold, and then they'll have their jacket. Um, so Malia, uh, Emily, oh, Colby, oh God, I don't even know my kid's name. Colby, Emmeline, Malia, and Dylan's outfits. So that's when we leave on the plane. We do have some things scheduled. Um, we are going on behalf of Disney, and they have a dinner and, and an event scheduled when we get there. So um, I actually, what did I do here? Okay, I think this is it. So I prepared a separate um, outfit to wear for dinner. And depending what time we finish, um, I want to go to Disney Springs. So um, I have an outfit for each of them. The girls are kind of all matching. And then Dylan. So it's a little bit of a dressier since it's like an event that they have scheduled for us for dinner. Then our first official day there, we're going to Animal Kingdom in the morning. We have um, a lunch scheduled in Animal Kingdom. And then we're going to head over to Epcot and do the things we want to do there. Narrowed down, our time is limited, so I've narrowed it down. Um, so I packed kind of safari-ish theme <laughs> clothing, which I'm me and my husband are going to try to match um, for each of the girls like with this kind of green tones or like, yeah, green tones. Um, and then since we're going to Epcot right after and the frozen um, rides and such are there and Elsa and Anna, I brought this outfit for Colby. This used to be her sister's too. They wore this when we went like the last time or two, two trips ago to Disney World. And then this is her own shirt. So I was going to change her into that when we go to Epcot and everybody else can stay in their outfits because that's special for her. Then we're gonna go back to the hotel, swim my plan, and then change. And we have a dinner, um, a tentative dinner scheduled for Chef Mickey in Contemporary Resort and then head over to Magic Kingdom because we have to watch um, the fireworks. So that's gonna be our first time going to Magic Kingdom 
but since it's going to be in the evening, I did. I still wanted to save like our Disney theme shirts for when we go the next morning. So since we're going to a dinner, it's a little bit dressier, and then we're going to watch the fireworks, maybe ride a few rides, whatever we can squeeze in. So I kind of have like I guess a denim theme for them. I try to like make them complement each other, but not really matchy matchy. Like Emily's is not totally matchy, but. That's like the tentative outfit for them to wear after the pool. Then on the third day, we're going to, um, we have an event in the morning um, and breakfast. Then we're going to head over to Disney, oh, Disney, uh, Magic Kingdom. And the girls have scheduled a Bippity Boppity Boo experience. Then we have a lunch scheduled at Be Our Guest. Um... And then we're going to head over to Hollywood Studios, ride some rides, and they have the Jedi experience scheduled. So we went with our Disney shirts that we had last time. We knew about this trip two weeks ago. Like, we, we didn't have much time to plan. I really, really wanted to order a new set of Team Inigas shirts for all of us. Um, but unfortunately, there was nothing I could get made in time and that fit in my budget. So since these shirts actually still fit the girls, they're going to wear theirs. Dylan had one, which fits Colby now, but it's so dirty that I'm not letting Colby wear. Hi. And then daddy's we can't find and mine, I don't like how it fits anymore since I've gained weight since after having this chunker. Um, only the girls are me wearing Team Inigas. Hi, baby. And then this used to be the girls' shirt, too. I'm actually going to go to look at um, uh, maybe, like, Walmart or Old Navy or something like that. See if I find a different shirt for Colby or Target. Um, and then Dylan has this shirt. Okay, thanks for sitting on me. <laughs> Dylan's shirt actually fits him. This shirt was from two trips ago. And the funny thing is, I ordered two of these because at the time, he this was way too big for him. So I the lady sent me another one that fit him. And so this still fits him. So it's going to have him wear that. I have to keep stopping and going because my, my battery is getting too hot. Um, or the camera. And then, like I said, we're going to Hollywood Studios. And Dylan is a huge Star Wars fan. And I know they have more Star Wars things there now, even though they're going to build a whole, they're building a whole separate Star Wars thing. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he's going to wear his Star Wars shirt. He'll change, he'll change into his Star Wars shirt since it's a special thing. And I don't know what package the girls are getting for the Bippity Boppity Boo. I don't know if they're going to, like, get another separate shirt or a dress or whatever. But if they do, then they can change or whatnot. Then the pool, the plan is to go back to the pool again. And we have family um, that live near Orlando. They're going to visit us, swim at us, have dinner with us at <coughs> either at the resort or somewhere nearby. Then um, we have a VIP uh, viewing of the Star Wars Galactic Fireworks thing there. Um, so we're going to head back to... Hollywood Studios in the late later in the evening. Um, so I have a Star Wars shirt, <coughs> excuse me, for Dylan, <clears throat> and then um, the girls' clothes. And then why don't I have something for Colby here? Yeah, that would be helpful. I think that's what this was for. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I have that as their outfit, and then they're gonna like reuse their jeans as long as they don't get dirty, and then these are really going home outfits for the plane. So that is what is behind these piles. What I'm gonna do is I'll show you, I'm gonna separate them and pack it with you guys. Um, and then I also have here, um, oh, wait a minute. This is actually, that's the plane clothes, and then we're not, our flight is not till 7 in the evening on Sunday, so I'm hoping um, we can do the pool in the morning, then check out, leave our stuff in concierge, and go to one of the parks that we didn't get to finish rides on. Um, and then that's what this outfit is for, for them, um, for the parks. And then here I just have the girls' sleeping clothes, underwear, socks, swimsuits, cover-ups, same thing for Dylan, same thing for Colby, except Colby has, um, um, she does have sleeping clothes in here. Hi, mommy. Yeah. 
Yeah, she, her sleeping clothes are here, but I have swim diapers for her. And then these are like extra clothes that I'm going to put in the backpack. Last but not least, this is just me and my husband's stuff. Um, I have my outfits here, um, shorts, pants, and tops, extra tops in case. And then this is a shirt my husband and I are matching with for Magic Kingdom. Yes. Then I was going to thinking to use this for Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom, one of the days. And then he has his old one too that still is good. So we have some Disney shirts, got some bathing suits, undergarments, things like that. And that's pretty much it. So let's get to packing. Before I pack, I did want to share with you, I always make a list of things that I do need to pick up. So there's some things I do need to pick up, like um, Colby needs a new bathing suit. I need a new pair of shorts. I need hair gel um, and a charger for his DS because I can't yeah. find it. Then these are just things I need to add in, like all our toiletries, my makeup, mm -hmm. the medicines, um, and then like my laptop, chargers, slippers, sunglasses, etc. So I always have a separate list so that I don't forget. I was able to fit all of Dylan's stuff in there, including his um, sneakers and um, slippers. He's going to wear his Toms on the plane, and then I need a sweater. And he already packed that bag of, like, toys, and he just needs to put his iPad. Um, I did end up condensing, or I did end up putting, combining, I should say, Colby's. Yes! Colby's stuff with Emelyn's in here. And on top of it, you know, with the Mickey ears, I'm going to put my laptop or in between the clothes because since it's cushioned mm -hmm. and then Malia's all fit in here she has a ton of space she wanted to add something I don't know maybe the girls will just bring a purse we'll see what they say um, and then in here I have to add diapers yeah. um, I could probably squeeze in a pack of diapers in uh -huh. here um, I was able to add the ponchos the umbrella and then I just got to put um, you know just random stuff in here and snacks this is the clothes for the plane and then I fit all of me and Brian's stuff in there I don't know if he's bringing an extra shoe um, I do have the jackets in there so I'm going to take that out and then I could fit in his extra shoe and the rest of our toiletries and then I gotta pack my purse and then that's it. We'll pretty much be ready to go. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Mel's video, which I will link down, down below. Follow our um, Team Iniguez Disney hashtag for past um, and present uh, videos, vlogs, posts. And we'll see you when we're in Disney. Bye. Yeah.